Hi everybody, I'm Lani Bunny, illustrator and 3D artist. I'm selling prints and t-shirts on my website. I'm using Clip Studio Paint uh, HK CSP from 2016 circa. I became a CSP expert from 2017, from when it was called Clip Studio Paint Evangelist, meaning I know my stuff. I pick up uh, a lot of tips and tricks during those years, especially regarding brush making. As you can see, shameless advertising done. Now, moving on! Sometimes you just want to sketch something, do some color studies, or just, you know, sit down and relax. Meaning that you don't want to worry to have a perfect brush, but just a brush that can do everything you need. Like sketching, inking, painting, blending, etc, etc. For that, you create a workhorse brush. <laughs> and it's a pretty easy thing to do. We will duplicate and edit the millipan. For the first step, we just go to the millipan that you can find in the tool palette under the pen tool and marker subtool group. Right click on the millipan and just click on duplicate subtool. Give the name workhorse brush and press OK. If those definitions sound strange, don't worry, I will release a workspace tutorial in the... Hey, when it will be ready? Soon. It will be released uh, soon. I hope. Now we just need to edit the options of the millipan. Clip Studio Paint uh, comes with uh, 328 brush options. I've counted them all, I know. Giving you full freedom on what you want to achieve, but here's the issue. They are a lot and trying to add them all in a brush, it's not doable. So you need to nail down all the options that you will use 99% of the time. And I'm here to tell you which ones are the ones to put. Fortunately, brush size, anti-aliasing and stabilization are already there. So, yay! So, you will need to put inside your workhorse brush those options. Color mixing with amount of painting, density of painting, color stretch, brush shape, hardness, brush density with adding uh, adjust brush density by gap and finally blend brush tips with darken so how do we do it we go to the tool property palette and click on that little branch in the bottom right of the tool property or we go to the window menu and click on subtool details this will give you access to all of those 328 options. By default you will be in the brush size menu. First thing I want you to notice is that little eye near the brush size option. This means that the option will appear in the tool property. If you click on that little eye you will hide it from the tool property palette because there is no eye right now. Don't play with it. Don't. Now you just need to go into the left section with all the options and hide and show everything until you have all the options you need. So where is what? In the ink category you need to remove the opacity and the blending mode and you need to show in the tool property the color mixing, amount of paint, density of paint and color stretch. Now, under brush shape, you need to put the eye on brush shape. That's, that's all, that's, you don't say. Under brush tip, you need to show hardness and brush density with that little option under brush density, that is adjust brush density by gap. 
Under stroke, you have blend brush tips with darken. Trust me, it's useful. Under correction, you need to remove adjust by speed. Now you have created and finalized your workhorse brush. Congratulations! Now, how does this work? Okay, first thing first. Do you see those little icons on the right of the settings? Good. Click on it, this will open the pen dynamics of that setting. Do you want to link the pen pressure to the brush size? You go there and check the pen pressure pen dynamics. Every time you see one of those three icons, it means that you can add or edit a pen dynamics settings. Now let's make a simple rundown of the other option. Let's go. Color mixing. This is what enables the blending between colors and it's divided in amount of paint, the amount of color that will be applied on an already existing color, density of paint, how much color will be applied on an empty part of your layer. Color stretch, how much your color will go from point A to B. Brush shape. Brush shape will let you apply the brush tips of another brush to your workhorse brush without changing the, uh, the tool property. To save a brush shape, you just go into Subtool Details and go to Brush Shape and click on the big Add to Presets button. That's it. This option is useful because it will, it will let you change easily between your favorite brushes without changing tool or creating more shortcuts. Brush tip. Antalyzing and hardness create a soft brush stroke in two different ways. Antalyzing have a fixed pixel amount that will be softened while hardness is based on the brush size the brush density brush density is like opacity but you can put more color on the same stroke just by passing on it again it's called uh, if i remember correctly flow in the other software but wait what if you want it to be like opacity simple you check the option blend brush tips with darken. Now wanting to simplify, it will practically behave like opacity. But what the uh, adjust brush, brush density by gap does? Well, it links the brush density to the gap of the stroke. The less gap, the less the opacity. Uh, hi, uh, sorry, I just badly explained myself. So, I want to correct myself, but I discovered this after my video editor edit the video, so uh, <laughs> there will be no fancy animation or something like that. So, practically speaking, uh, brush density creates a multiply effect uh, when uh, uh, the little circle, the brush tips, uh, intersect with each other's. So adjust brush density by gap means uh, that it doesn't create that effect, means that uh, uh, the density, the opacity of the brush don't go over the setting you have put. Uh, I hope uh, I explained it uh, and I hope it's understandable. Stabilization. Well, it removes the wobbling of your line. Just bear in mind that your line will be drawn a little bit more slow. Now you know everything, but if you have a tablet with a small monitor and you always miss the slider, so what you do? Now, let's use the brush size as an example. We go to the subtool details and click on that little horizontal arrow between the eye icon and the option. This will give you the settings for how you input the value. Click on show indicator. This will give you five squares with fixed value that you can easily click. To change the fixed value, click on the indicator settings option. Okay. 
If you need to input something outside those fixed values, you just need to click on that horizontal arrow between the pen dynamics settings and the indicator value. With this, you have a workhorse brush that you can use for everything. Just remember that it's essentially a standard brush, meaning that it lacks a little bit of personality. You can uh, use it for 90%, 99% of the work, but for the least 10%, 1%, I really recommend you to use uh, a more specialized brush that caters to your needs. Uh, like uh, I know there is a very useful brush pack on the internet, you know, just saying, you know. Hmm? 